Okay, so today's page we may get done all in one day because I am going to use my stash for this one. Now, I am a huge proponent of not hoarding your things and we have, I had cleaned up my office yesterday and I had all of these things that I cut up so far for this journal project, right? So this is the uh, color pages in my journal. And I want to not have a billion pieces of magazine collage when I am done. Okay, so that's cool. I kind of like that. Um, I was thinking, I have this giant hand and I'm not sure what to do with it, but I wanted to use it on here. We have this really cool person, so I'm gonna pull that out. Let's see what else we have. This wasn't actually from this project, but I actually like this girl with the chicken man very much, but it doesn't really fit my own challenge. Um, I'm trying to find a little bit bigger pieces of stuff. Okay, so I remembered I have this penguin and I was wondering if I could put him on the hand. What if we, wait, wait, what if we made him this thing and then put him on the hand? Okay, so I kind of like that. We're going to be thinking about that one. That seems like it could be, oh, I totally dig that. Okay, so that's going to be part of it. We're going to use our hand. Um, all right, so what else do we have here? I love this red jelly stuff. All right, let's keep that out. Um, I don't really want to have to dye anything today. I'm going to keep that out. Oh, I kind of want that for, okay, so I do have a, a secret about today. So I want to put those behind open doors. Um, I have some animals, so I'm going to keep those guys out. I need some feet for my, for my, uh, penguin man. There's another little animal. Just trying to collect some stuff. A, a flower, a flower. There's a butterfly wing. I always like a butterfly wing, so let's use that. Oh, here's some feet. We'll keep those out. I don't know if those are going to be them. Here's two girls. Hmm. I don't want to use those for this. There's a flower. There's a cat. Oh, nope. The cats go with the two girls, I think. Here's some flowers. I'm not sure I'm going to use all this, but I want to just try to get some stuff over here. All right. This may be good edges. That may be good edges. This may be good edges. Whew. Okay. There's an arm. Oh, there's a leg. What's this? Oh, that's that with the girls. Okay. I have a turtle. Maybe we'll have him standing on a turtle. Okay. We got some of these things. We've got a man. I'm going to probably use him for something else. We got a dog head. I think he's going to go with the cat people. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. Let's use that. Let's use that. All right, we may not have used up totally our stash, but I did get rid of a bunch of it. Okay, here we go. We got these, we got these. I don't think I'm ever gonna use a giant arm. We have this. I think this number could be good, or this dollar bill could be good somewhere. All right, and we do have this. Let's see if we want to use that. Okay. Whew. That was exciting. All right. We have this. We have this. I don't think I need face faces. And we're going to put this in here. But that will get us a little ways on to using up our stash. Okay. So here's the secret today. This is a... Um, this is a... Uh, page that I'm going to be doing, uh, the whole journal is kind of a funky, um, uh, 
secret stuff, flippies, things like that. So I thought it would be fun today to make this, uh, to make the hand kind of open up the door to this on the inside, right? So we've got this giant hand, and if we make the door part of the hand, I don't know yet, maybe we only use a few fingers, maybe we use the whole hand, we have the thumb. Maybe we, I don't know yet, I don't know yet. Maybe we just use the thumb and the fingers. So the, the giant hand is getting used today because it's creepy and I think it'll be cool. Um, and then I'm gonna cut this out here and then have a door open up. Do I want the door near the, I think I want the door near the bottom, not totally near the bottom, but bottom-ish. Okay, so we're gonna have, okay. So that's gonna be our door area. Where is my ruler? There's my ruler. Okay, so we're gonna say it goes up to here and it goes down to here. It goes up to here and it goes down to, goes down to here. And I don't care if my door's super straight. I'd like it to be straight-ish. All right, so that's gonna be our door. And don't stress out about the fact that I outlined my whole door and we may not use the whole door and blah, 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 blah. Um, this is going to be fun. And I think I'm going to hook my door with some jump rings so it opens up. So the first thing I'm going to do, ooh, you know what I can do? Since that's close to the edge, I can make a little hole. So one's a big hole, one's a little hole. So we're going to just use this. It's fate. Okay, so I'm using this, my crocodile, to make a little hole for that door. Let's make a little hole down here so they match, right? As long as you do stuff that matches, it always seems to make sense. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna cut around this door. And I'm cutting my whole door off because even if I wanted to, uh, I could put a hinge on it. I did a, I did a video about how to make a flip out page. We could use tape for that. We could use whatever. But I wanna get this door cut out before I get too many um, uh, uh, layers on this project, okay? Because I have, <laughs> I have done this before where I waited till the end because I was like, oh, I don't wanna mess up my project. And then it was terrible trying to cut it out through like the 11 billion layers that I make. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're also not gonna glue it to this other page until we have figured out how we're gonna make the door flip out, right? Cause that is no good. All right, um, let's turn it over this way. Always, I'm a righty, so always try to cut in the direction that is easiest for you to cut and turn your paper rather than um, turning your, trying to turn your hand because everything will come out better if you do that. All right, so we need one little more bite out of here. And there we go, we have a door. This is exciting. Okay, so let's put this under here. Make sure we like it. We're gonna open our door. Open our door. Oh, we're gonna have to make our door a tiny bit littler. And that's, this is a, this is a piece that my daughter did yesterday in our um, magazine transfer videos. And I think it turned out amazing. So I wanted to use it in this project. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna put that in here and we're just gonna stick this right on the back because I know this is gonna be here is washi tape, which is not the world's stickiest tape, right? So it's, it's not perfect for, like if I was trying to stick this down, I would go get strapping tape. But the thing is, because I am going to be um, gluing these two pages together, right? You can see on the back here where I was getting my, my uh, Posca pen to work. Okay, I want this to be tight down here. All right, there we go. All right. Anyways, since I am going to be gluing the two pages together, this doesn't have to stand up to like heavy duty 
work. It just has to kind of hold itself to that spot, which I'm sure it can do with, with the little bit of wear and tear it's going to take. Okay, cool. See, now I think that's really snazzy. Maybe we should have figured out our door. Well, I guess now we have decided, oh no, the back of my door is ugly. So we need to do, <laughs> we need to do something with the back of the door too, people. Let's go back to our stash. And I made these papers yesterday, right? For that other project. So I am going to stick one of these papers on the back of my door and I'll probably have to cut off a wee bit of the door anyways. Cause you know, it fits in there perfectly right now. And maybe we could put our door upside down. How fun is that? All right, so let's just real quick do this. This is, this is a fun day. This is, I'm doing this on a Friday and Fridays are fun days and we don't have to worry about anything and we can just make it look cool enough. Besides, I'm making a Penguin King so it's not like this is, uh, I'm not doing brain surgery, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm just making a fun piece of artwork. There we go. Okay. 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 Whew. That's better. All right. Now we can take our big scissors and we can cut off this little extra door bits. And we'll cut off this extra door bits. Okay, and I'm even cutting a little bit of our door, right? Because we want we wanted to make it a little bit smaller so it'll fit in the hole now. All right, before we get all fancy, let's see if we can make our door work normally without making it smaller. Okay, I do feel like I want to cut off a tiny bit of this edge so it'll just seat itself in there perfectly. Okay, all right. There we go. So this is gonna be our secret door. Yay! All right, now let's go back to our penguin guy because he's gonna be easy to make. We're gonna hack off this person's head and stick our penguin on top. No head for you. Oh, I actually brought out this big piece of cardboard to cut on it, doy. And then I wound up using my snips anyways. Okay, that makes it easier to work over here. And this is just going to be the page I stick on the back. So we're going to put that off to the side too. All right, so we have him. Where'd our penguin go? So we need him to fit perfectly right there. We can maybe go a little bit less. Okay, so we're going to cut off his body right about there. Okay, so we got a penguin head. Does he have penguin feet? Do we want to put his feet back on? We'll have to see. We'll think about that. Because I think he's my door. Now, we could always have our door open this way, too, don't forget. Because I want him to be my door handle. Okay, so he's, he's doing something over here. We have this really cool pagoda thingy. Oh, that fits perfectly on our door. All right, that's going on our door. Let's put him back and see what happens with that. Ooh, that's kind of snazzy, huh? Oh, that looks great. Okay, okay. I feel like the first thing we need to do, though, is we need to get our border because we've been working with Tisha Moore. I have a video about that. We've been working with Diane Reevely, and these girls always put borders around their projects. So a little bit of blue is good. I don't want them to be able to really tell what it is. So let's start hacking this up. Look at us using up our stash like maniac. Okay, so piece there, piece there. Garbage, yay. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be good. There we go. All right, what else do we have for edges? Did we want to put our hidden door on a turtle. So this would go behind his head. Let's let's do that, because no matter what, we're gonna be going behind his head. I've lost my snips. Oh, I don't know if the giant hand is the answer for us. Maybe it's a turtle. Okay. 
here I thought I would get to use my giant hand. But I almost feel like if we, oh, look at how cool that fits on my turtle. I'm almost feeling like that's a sure thing because that goes exactly up to there and then he's up there in the top. What do you think? We can move our turtle down. We could cut off a tier or part of a tier of this. So let's say we cut off part of a tier and then we have him standing here. And then I feel like his body is more proportional to his, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's keep going. I have all these cool little snazzy animals. All right, let's do, cause these were all the background. These are all the things that I cut out for um, tree stems for, for my farm project that I didn't actually use. So maybe we could use them up here and keep that border all pretty, um, instead of it being fancy, have it be kind of more plain. And then we could put our animals on it. What do you think? Okay, let's let's see what we can do. Let's take the Vogue person that I just hacked in half. There are so many images in the world, people. Do not ever regret cutting something. There are bajillions. I will find more. Don't you worry. I'm just trying to make these relatively straight. Okay, okay. There we go. What else we got? We got this knife handle. That could go down there. Um, we got this brown thing, which isn't very exciting. We could use a little bit. See, this is all the colorful stuff. I almost feel like if we're going to do colorful, we have to go full on colorful. If we're going to do plain, we should go just straight plain, right? Because we can always doodle in there. Don't, don't fret. I mean, I'm not going to leave it just a big brown box, obviously. I kind of feel like this is our answer. And I like the raggedy edge. So I'm going to make this skinnier. And sh well, I'm going to put this down first. Okay, so we're going to start gluing. And I love this Nouveau glue. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to jinx myself. Because it always comes out. And every other glue with the fine tip I've ever used doesn't come out. And I cannot be minding my glue because it doesn't come out. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy down here underneath our turtle in the back. All the browns are going to be in the very back because they're the least interesting, right? But they're the right color. Brown and blue are complementary colors, so this should go well together. I mean, it should look pretty together not just go together but look pretty together and this is just to make a little frame for this project and this one doesn't go together at all right like lots of mine I have a whole idea in my head of what I'm gonna do this one is just it's turning into friggin Noah's Ark I did have a little idea that I was gonna make the Penguin King which is awesome um, but beyond that, I just knew that I wanted to use up the pieces of my stash because they were getting out of control. Saving up a whole bunch of magazine images for someday is just a recipe for spending all your time organizing instead of spending all your time doing artwork, right? And I want to spend all my time doing artwork. All right, these guys, these guys, use guys on the top. Okay, so now we have our... Border done. We have our turtle. See how he's going to help cover up the page, the flip out page? I bet you forgot about that, didn't you? Ha ha. This is going to go in here. Our penguin king is going to go here. All right. How about, don't like the, oh, and I found a cool piece of dark. I'm going to put this over somewhere. I'm actually going to put it two places because this is way cooler than that boring old dark. And do not fret about this making my page thick because I am making the thickest journal ever known to man or woman. It really is going to be bizarrely thick. 
All right, so now we need to make a decision. Do, I was thinking that I might want him, oh, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna take off his arms because I do not like these arms anyways. Now we just have a body to deal with. But how cool would it be to put butterfly wings on him? And this kind of goes with his turtle shell. All right, so we're gonna do that. Yes, I know not everybody's into butterfly wings, but I am into butterfly wings. Then I have my penguin. Then I have my turtle. So now we have to decide. I don't think I need this. Are we gonna, oh, maybe this goes up here now? Because I do want to have a little interest to this page. It isn't all about just my my flip open. So I love this. I think this is too. This little guy is too much like those. Do we need some flowers or something cute around the edge to add some interest? I think so. That I like. Let's see what else we got. We got some grapes. Those aren't speaking to me like that flower did. Okay, this is the same flower family. What about if we put a flower behind here and behind his head? Okay, I like that. I feel like we've got a lot going on up there. Do we need anything more down here or is the giant turtle enough? Oh, how about a leaf? Okay, I like a leaf down here. We'll be able to squeeze it in. Do we have any more leaves or something like that? I think it's the fact that it's a little bit plainer. Oh, there's a leaf. Perfect, and we'll put a leaf down here. I'm kind of feeling like, all right, here's my big question. Do we want, to give him, that is too big for his head. I have crowns. Now you're saying I'm cheating, but I'm not cheating because this is also my stash. I have crowns I cut out from Diane Reevely's, uh papers that I've also used here. So do we want a big giant crown for him? Because I found a big giant crown. Oh, I want a big giant crown for him. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to be right back once I get all this stuck down. Okay, since I want to have my turtle be the handle for my page, I kind of want to make sure that he is um, supported in his turtliness. So I am going to um, glue him. Uh, I'm using another piece of stash, so this is just a random background I made on mixed media paper, but it's very pretty. I'm going to glue him down here with this. I wanted to show you I'm going to cut off, remember we talked about cutting off part of that tear? So I'm just going to cut off where that natural break line was, and that way I don't have to feel funky. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my guy, can I cheat? Do I want to cut off even a little bit more? I kind of want this to meet the edge of his turtle shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat this a little bit. You'll never notice this in the grand scheme of things. Nobody but you and me will ever know that we cut off part of his thing. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, see? That looks better. So I'm going to glue right along the top here of this. And I have found, like I glued his crown to his head. I have found if I glue them like little paper dolls together before I try to do anything with them, it tends to make it easier to assemble them. All right, so there he is. Let's do our penguin. All right, so we're gonna put him in front here and then go to where we like his sassy little penguin self being. Okay, that's good. Okay, and I know that this is sticking off, so I can cut that when I cut the the piece off. Okay, and now we're gonna do his, his wings. See, if I tried to do, I find if I try to do all the sticky bits when I'm gluing it to anything, whether it be the background or the, you know, no matter what, I find that it's harder to figure out like where pieces should go. I kind of make little paper dolls of them. And then once I have that all done, then I glue them onto the background or to, in this case, the uh, actual paper. Okay, so here's another trick. Stop sticking to the paper. Okay, so we are gonna use sticky tape for some of this because this is a very large area to try to glue. 
and it wouldn't stick down very well to begin with. So we are going to use our double-sided tape. I get this from Joggles. They call it sticky stuff. Um, and it's made in the United States, which makes me very happy. So before I pull that up, I'm gonna glue around all my, all my parts. And I wanna get pretty close to the edge because this is gonna be um, in motion, right? We're gonna make him the door. He really kinda needs to be a little stuck down. I don't always, I'm not always the best gluer in the world, but I feel like for this, we wanna have all of his pieces and parts stuck down. Around the edge is where I'm going. And then maybe fill in a little bit of the areas where the tape isn't. And this Nouveau glue is great. I have yet to really have it buckle my, um, buckle my magazine images. And like these, these wings are really good paper. And then we're gonna peel this off. See, we got a little bit of that glue on his body. Let's see if, oh, it rubbed off, yay. So now we just wanna try to get this as flat as possible. And Biggie is yelling to go out because he hears me talk. So let's let Biggie out. And then um, I'm gonna cut this out off of this paper and then I'll be back. So we're gonna do our, I've cut all this out. We're gonna do our flippy door now. And I'm gonna go with the easiest thing, easiest way for me to make a door. It may not be the easiest way for everybody, but it's the easiest way for me to make a door. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold over some of this in a straightish line, okay? And that is gonna be my door mechanism. And then oh, I am going to find a bone folder. I'm going to use this handle to really bend that. And there's enough layers here of paper and stuff that, and, and for how much this is gonna be used, that this will not get ruined, right? So just opening and closing the few times that I'm gonna do that is not going to ruin this door. But I do really wanna get it so that it'll open relatively easily. So now we have this here. And I you'll see I put my Chinese house on there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get my big chomper. And this is, so this is, I don't remember, big bite, big bite. Um, I want it to make a pretty big hole in this, in this door flap. I'm gonna make four holes because I don't want this to have to work too hard. Like I need lots of port and then I'm gonna use brads and grommets to hold this in. And we're gonna grab a little bit of washi tape and put this exactly in the same place. You know, we're gonna tape this down. And what washi tape is, is a really low tack tape that it's like painter's tape, right? So it doesn't stick to stuff. So there we go, we got our sticky washi tape. So now our door should stay in place. And now we need to pick four brads and grommets. So these are grommets. So I never have occasion to use my green grommets. So I am going to use my green grommets on this. And now we have to pick brads. So we have all different kinds of brads. We have plain brads. We have brads that look like they're, um, you know, use your word, Schiffer that look like they're screws. Um, we have smaller ones. I think I need a, a fairly good, and I've used these already on something um, in this book. So I'm just gonna grab four of them that aren't the same, that are pretty. So those are gonna be our grommets and our brads. Okay, you guys have to move up here. Boop, boop, boop. So you just stick your paper in here. Okay, everybody always asks why I shake, and I shake because I work on the computer all day and my wrists are weak. So I was hoping washi tape would be willing would be willing to manage this, but I've got to bring out the big dog now. I'm going to put some strapping tape on here to affix this in the middle. Because don't forget, this is our picture that Desi made. And I don't want to go over there, so this I cut too long. 
All right, there we go. All right, so now that's stuck down. Okay. So that's in there. That's in there. This is stuck down with our thing. And now we're going to switch this over. And this is going to put these uh, grommets in. Well, it kind of makes sense that, that that washi tape isn't enough to take care of that because we're, we're pushing down on it an awful lot. I'm going to put another piece of strapping tape back here once I get this done. Sometimes we don't think about the structure of stuff enough. Okay, we need this still, but I need a spot. And I'm gonna put this on here and get this stuck down nice and well. All right, that feels a lot more stable. Whew. Yeah, that was a little rattly for my taste. And I'm gonna cut all this off when I get done, that overhanging bit. Okay, now we need our chomp to chomp. So we're gonna have it chomp our grommets. So we want it to come down this way and push down. Oh, good, there we go. Coming down. Chomping. And you can feel it, it like locks in there. Okay, Whew. here we go. We will put our bitey guy away. We can take these off now, cause this, this, oh. It did pull a little bit. That is fine. Let's see if it pulls on here. I thought it was kind of sticky washi tape. All right, no big deal. We, remember, we have a giant turtle. Nobody's gonna, with wings, nobody's gonna notice that that's a little pulley. Okay, so we need to, okay, so this is actually hooked on, right? Like, this is, you could just leave the grommets there and this would be hooked on. I just wanna put these on to make it look a little cuter. Um, but they're, they're definitely not necessary. Um, they're just a little, a little bit of bling because the grommets are what are actually holding this in. Let's do this the right way up. And don't forget, our page is going to be a lot more stable once we have the other page stuck to the back of it. Whew, it's very stressful today. All righty then. I am going to, now I can use whatever kind of glue I want because now we are, um, we're working with like multiple layers. So I'm gonna do distressed collage glue because this glue is, um, it'll hold like metal to stuff like that. So this is a very heavy duty glue. Um, and we're gonna go part way up their feathers, right? We have to get it to come down into the, to the nozzle, the schnozzle. That needs to stick all the way across. This needs to stick all the way down here. Okay, and then we've got all this needs to stick and kind of from here over. And let's go ahead and stick our turtle down. And we have to make sure he is is not on that, that um, bendy line because that bendy line will, um, will break his, his little turtle shell. Okay, so here's the other part of this. I do not want it stuck down, and look, we have glue down here. All right, so we don't want this door stuck down. So I'm gonna put this over here with it open, and we're gonna do another little project while we wait for that to dry. So I want a tab to open up my, um, my door, and, we Are Memory Keepers makes this amazing little tab punchy thingy diggy, which makes it really easy to make tabs. And so I used two of the patterns. Remember we, we uh, threw that, we had that. So I'm gonna kind of pull this over here because I want a little bit of both on one side and then I don't know which side is actually gonna be up. But then what you do, so then all you do is you put it in here Okay, you have to have it sort of short. So we're gonna cut this off because there's a trick to this. This is very cool. You have to have this kind of short. So we're gonna see if this is short enough. We may have to go a little bit shorter. Nope, we're good. Okay, so if you don't go all the way down, right? Like if you don't, if you don't punch that very little edge right there, then this will make a flippy open tab. I'll show you. Oh. See, now I have a flippy open tab. Look how cool that is. That turned out great. 
That is exactly what I envisioned. I love those tab punches. I'm gonna leave this out because we're gonna be doing lots of tabs coming up here soon. I'm thinking that we could put this on the side of the turtle like this. What does it look like on this side? Ooh, that's kind of cute too. All right, I kind of like this side the best. So we're gonna use our Nuvo. It's a turtle tab. So I want part of that tab sticking out so that I can hook something onto it. Maybe later, maybe something cute. This is a very special turtle. All right, let's see how the back of it looks. All right, I don't feel like that is getting a super good seal here. Put our coffee cup on there. All right, now we're gonna give it another minute. Yeah, see, there we go. All right, there's Desi's picture. All right, you know what we can do in the meantime? We can stick these two pages together. Where's our other page? Here's our fairy tale princess, and I um, I made these exactly the same size, so this will work out perfectly. And then this will make this page more stable, because right now this page has a big old hole in the middle, right? All right, so I usually use the um, this tape, but I was gonna see if I had any red tape. I don't know if I have any red tape left, or at least none where I know it is. So we'll use this tape. Okay, so this time I'm gonna go right around. The, okay, so let's do this first, because this is gonna mess me up. Okay, I may have to put a little brace on him where the turtle tab may just be for show. It's not like this is actually functioning as anything. All right, so here we go. We are gonna stick these pages together. And this is time for Heidi Swaps, and I'm actually gonna do it this time because it matters. Closest to the edge without going over. And the cool thing is the Joggles lady gave me a really good hint. She said, if you do happen to go over, just roll it up into the page, which would actually work. Do not use your teeth while you're crafting. Your parents paid a lot of money for your braces. All right, that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna take all the, this is an exciting time. I feel like this is going to really be a fun page. Now, one more thing. Um is I may want to help support her. I don't know, I feel like this is tough enough. I'm gonna leave that like that. Okay, so I always find it's easier, right side up, right side up, to kind of start at the bottom and get it lined up and then work our way up from there. Okay, sometimes I put tape in the middle, sometimes I don't. I feel like this page has got an awful lot going on without me having a ton of tape in the middle. I feel like I need, a, I do feel like I need a little brace in there. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna make a turtle brace. So here we go. We're gonna glue this together to make it a little bit more stable, right? I know what you're thinking. Stop gluing on your stuff. I know, I know how you think. Here we go. All right, so now we got this. There. All right, so if we put that on there, I don't think it can hurt, right? Okay, here we go. So we're gonna make a brace on our turtle. Here we go. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. He's much stronger. What a good turtle. Okay, let's think about it now. You guys are always asking me about how people decide what to put on their journal pages. And so a lot of normal people will put, um, you know, their day, maybe a quote, things like that. Um, you can put whatever you want on it because it's your journal page. So what I tend to do, like on this one, I always like to tell a story about what's going on on my picture. And on this one, I said she took off for London to audition for Caterpillar Princess, right? So this is a story I have in my head about this lady and why she's dressed up in a Caterpillar dress. So this one, I'm thinking he is the emperor, right? Emperor Penguin. So I'm going to say the emperor rode in on his trusty turtle steed, okay? And I'm gonna have it going around the edge of this. That's how I'm gonna write this. 
And then everybody always gets twisted about how to write things. So you could do it a bunch of different ways. You could take a pencil and kind of sketch it out um, if that makes you feel better. Most of the time I'm writing on something that I can't um, actually see a pencil. Uh, you could do it. I did a whole video about how you could do it on tissue paper and then put it on and you wouldn't make any mistakes. I just write it in like a fine line. And I want to show you something to let you know that you it doesn't matter. Hold on. Where'd it go? On this one, I wrote, those girls look like, and then I said, look like, and then I said, like trouble. And so underneath this little patch here is another like that I just covered up. So don't get so worried about the fact that you might make a mistake in your writing. Um, nobody cares. Like just, you, may, you might care, but mostly nobody cares. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I might write, this is weird. I might write in white today and then, um, and then outline it in black. Usually I write in black and outline in white. So this is a skinny, skinny, skinny Posca pen. What I will do is I will write it out in skinny, skinny Posca pen, and then I will go around it in fatter Posca pen. And then I will outline it in skinny black pen. Usually I do skinny black, fat black, skinny white. Okay, so I'm going to say, and this is just based on my writing. So I'm going to say the, and I don't like, all right, I'm a little bummed out. I was showing you how I wrote around the um, outside because I know a lot of people have questions about how to write on their journal pages, but my phone filled up, <laughs> so it didn't record that part. So anyways, I'm going to go and I just outlined this in very light white um, skinny letters. I'm going to outline it in darker white all the way around, and then I'm going to outline that with black. I'm going to do a bunch of doodling, maybe outline some of this, make this dark so that it kind of is highlighted. And uh, when I'm done, I will come back and I will show you the finished product. Alrighty, so I finished my turtle. Um, I did the lettering around here. And if you noticed, I had written Emperor O-R-E-R, -E -R, but I just fixed it. So when you guys get so nervous about whether um, you're going to write wrong or do whatever, you can always kind of jury rig something and fix it. Um, I outlined everything with black and then the turtle and the penguin I outlined in white. I um, embossed some gold on his wings and on his hat and little dealy bobs. Um, I put a little purple on his shell to just kind of give him some zing. Oh, and on the outsides, I did some checkerboards and some doodles where, um, like the, the, see how this is kind of, because it didn't bother me because there's so much words here, but like here, there were no words. So I just did a little checkerboard with a brown Posca pen. I outlined all the flowers and I love how this turned out and how you can see Desi's uh, print on the inside. My husband was excited. He, he said, I haven't done a fancy page in a while and he really liked it, but I love that there's like a hidden turtle spot. So hopefully you like it. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.